I'm Laura Coyle, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to explain something about Adobe Illustrator and resolution and exporting artwork. So as you know, Adobe Illustrator is all about creating and editing vector art, meaning paths and anchor points that are resolution independent. So you can zoom in really far and see artwork that is just as crisp as it is when it's smaller or at the size that you created it at. So resolution is generally not a concern inside of Adobe Illustrator, but it is when you want to export your artwork, which is kind of like taking a snapshot of it and putting it into an image-based format like JPEG or PNG. Then you're in the world of pixels and resolution matters. And I get questions about exporting a lot. And somebody put it this way recently, what principle is at work here? And I kind of love that because there is a principle at work here. And that is that in Adobe Illustrator, one inch equals 72 pixels always. And that doesn't change. 72 pixels equals an inch. And you can prove this to yourself. So let's go out here. I will get my artboard tool and drag out an artboard. And then in the width and height, I'm going to make this an inch by an inch and hit the tab key. And then I'm leaving artboard editing mode. And let's look in the properties panel. So currently my document unit of measure is in inches and I've created a one inch by one inch artboard. But if I change my unit of measure to pixels and I go back to editing my artboards, I can see that the artboard is now 72 pixels by 72 pixels. And the same thing happens if you try to create a rectangle here. So if I create a one I N by one I N rectangle, Illustrator converts that into pixels at 72 pixels per inch. And this is different than Photoshop, of course, and that's what can be a little confusing. So when you start a file in Photoshop, it asks you what resolution, which is basically what size pixel do you want? Do you want a 300 pixel per inch, 300 PPI pixel, or do you want a 72 PPI pixel, which is of course larger than a 300 PPI pixel. So pixels are generally thought of as a floating unit of measure, not absolute like inches or centimeters. So that's what makes this principle in Illustrator so different. And the origins of this are back in the origins of Adobe Illustrator. Now in 2024, Adobe Illustrator is 37 years old. And I went to graphic design school way back when the Macintosh was introduced. And back then, uh, it was set up so that a pixel equals a point and points are a typographic measure. I learned about this in school points and picas and inches. And here I just have a, an image of that point and pica ruler, but long before people were using the computer to do typography, an inch equaled 72 points. So that measurement's been around for a very long time. And that's where it comes from in Adobe Illustrator. Even though it's not as relevant now because we have screen resolutions that are much, much higher and things have changed a lot since then. But this one thing has stayed the same in Illustrator since its very beginning. So now that we have that bit of background info, let's talk about exporting from Illustrator. So let me back out here and I'm going to my artboard. Let me move this artwork that I created here on to the artboard. So we're saying I'm going to export this one inch artwork now. And in Illustrator, I have a few choices. So if I go to file and export, I can choose export for screens, export as, or save for web. Now with export as you're going to be able to choose a resolution and export for screens is generally going to export at 72 PPI. And there's a lot of choices in there. You can scale it, etc. But for this demonstration, I'm going to choose save for web. And the reason is because it illustrates the point very easily and it's a very flexible way to export from Illustrator. So I'm choosing save for web and now we can see my one inch artboard. It's very, very tiny. Kind of like I said before about how screen resolution is so much 
uh, so much finer now than it used to be. There's my 72 pixel or one inch artboard there. But because this is Illustrator and this is vector art, I can make this any size that I want to. So let's say I want to use it for um, Instagram. I'll make it 1080 and there it is, perfectly crisp and beautiful. Sometimes I like to make it 2160, double that. And again, perfectly crisp and beautiful because it's Illustrator doing this conversion from vectors into pixels here. So the way I like to look at this is when I'm exporting from Illustrator, it's most important to think about the pixel dimensions that you need in order to get to that resolution that maybe your printer is telling you they need. So for example, let's say I want to print this design on a pillow. It's a 12 inch by 12 inch pillow and the printer that, who's going to print this for me has told me that they need 150 PPI resolution. That's when I get my calculator out and I say 12 inches times 150 pixels per inch equals 1800 pixels. So I need 1800 pixels in order for this artwork to look crisp at 150 PPI. So I'll go ahead and type that in, 1800. And now I have artwork that's perfectly sized for that printer. And then I can just save it and export it. There are other times when somebody gives you just a pixel dimension that they need. They don't even care about the resolution. So they'll say, I need this to be 3000 pixels or I need this to be 1500 pixels. And that's really easy. You don't have to do any math. You just type it in here and let Illustrator do the scaling. And then of course there are other considerations like whether it's going to be a JPEG or you're going to choose PNG and the quality level that you're going to get. And those are other considerations that I'm not going to cover in this video. Mainly, I want you to be able to think in terms of pixel dimensions in order to get to the resolution that your printer or your vendor or the end product requires. And when you think in terms of pixel dimensions, when exporting from Illustrator, everything is so much easier. You don't have to think about that mm, one inch is 72 pixels. And then what is that at 300 PPI? Oh, I don't even know. That's too difficult. Pixel dimensions make the whole thing so much more simple. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out of here. And one last thing that I want to cover is another question that I get, which is, why is there a resolution setting in Illustrator when you first start a document? So let's do that. Command or Control N to get a new document. And right here under raster effects, you're going to see a resolution. So a lot of people look at this and think that this is a resolution that's applying to the file um, and it's affecting their vector art. You can choose 300 or 150 or 72 or type in something else. Uh, let me go ahead and close this. What that is, is it's equivalent to this right here under effect in the effect menu, document raster effect settings. So this is a setting for the document and you can change this as you're working in your document, but this is telling Illustrator what setting you want your pixel based effects to display at. So if I come over here where I have, let's see, some stars with drop shadows and right now our document raster effect setting is 300 PPI. So we're seeing these at a really nice fine resolution, but I can come in here to the document raster effect settings and I can change this to 72 PPI. And why would I do that? Well, maybe that will help illustrators processing uh, move a little faster. Maybe if I have a lot of these pixel based effects or Photoshop type effects, um, at work here in Illustrator. And it may be hard to see here on YouTube, but when I zoom in, now we can kind of see those pixels. So we know this is a lower resolution um, that we're looking at here. So that particular setting only refers to the display of these raster-based effects in Illustrator. And you can use it to set it to a lower resolution, like 72 PPI, in order to maybe work a little faster when you have a lot of these effects applied in your file. And then before you export, 
when you're going to convert it into a pixel based format, just like we looked at, that's when you want to come back here and change this to a higher resolution, something that's going to be more compatible with the end product that you want when you export it. All right. Well, I hope that was clear and that helps you with exporting an Illustrator. My name is Laura Coyle. I teach Adobe Illustrator online here on YouTube and in my learning community, which you can find out more about on my website, lauracoylecreative.com. And thank you so much for watching.